Hi my friends, it's Miss Cipollone. I hope this message finds you well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a variety of different activities you can do with the high frequency words your teacher has posted to your Google Classroom. You can use these activities daily, one a day, or you can do multiple in a day. Whatever you do, they are great practice. I hope you like them. The first activity is recording your high frequency words on cue cards. You can use paper. I use the inside of a cereal box so that the material is a little bit sturdy. And using whichever writing materials you have at home, markers, pens, crayons, pencil crayons, whatever it is, be creative. So you grab your marker with your high, your high frequency word list and you record your words neatly. high frequency words handy, you get a piece of paper with a variety of colors. And you begin to write your high frequency words over and over again using a variety of colors. Here's the word the. Now I am working on the word I. Another great way to practice your high frequency words. I put some rice in a tray, but you can use just about anything. Sand, beans, quinoa, flour, salt, or even sugar. Putting the rice on the bottom, shake it up so it's nice and flat. With your high frequency words handy, then using your finger as the pencil, and you're recording the word. this activity, you are using string, yarn, rope, pipe cleaners, or anything else found around the home to create your high frequency words. I made the word I. For this activity, you can use a variety of letters to create your high frequency words. You can use magnetic letters, scrapple letters, or even blocks with letters on them. I'm using a bulletin set that I have. I made the word is. Now it's time to get outside and pack the those high frequency words. If you have sidewalk chalk, go ahead and write all your words on the sidewalk. If you don't, you can always use a wall, a paintbrush, some water. I happen to not have a paintbrush, so I'm using an extra toothbrush. With your high frequency words handy, went to the toothbrush. Then, challenge yourself to read them as you go upstairs. See how many stairs you can get up. We, me, you, it is the block and I did it! Here's another super fun way to practice your high frequency words. Now I'm going to practice the word the. Using my magazines or flyers, I look through and find the word the. I found it. Cut the word out. And I glue or tape it to a piece of paper. And I can create a high frequency word collage. If you can't find the word, don't worry. Look for each letter individually. That's a great activity too. 
I challenge you to find a creative way to practice your high-frequency words. Have fun.